back again back again back again so if you saw my last videos basically i was just trying to break down my recent experiences uh sorry things are kind of chaotic in there um as i'm trying to break down those experiences it's just like everything kept going wrong man like i'd have people like run in the room and do extra shit or my phone would die just as i started to make a point um, I ended up having used like multiple devices just to try to record those videos But the main point was a lot of this stuff is staged and they just use it to try to make you anxious paranoid uh, or live in a state of fear um, And now I'm starting to see that the more you push it uh, It seems like they get a little pissed off, right? They get a little butt hurt. So after my shenanigans over the weekend this week my job, bro jobs they've been running me man like so i'm starting to have this theory that these monitors uh because you know like i have my two computer screens that these screens somehow give them the ability to affect my brain right or, or attempt to read my brain um which is not a far-fetched concept you know just hypothetically speaking um it, it is technology. I mean, there is a patent. If I had my notebook, I'd even uh, give you the patent number. But there is a patent that was created in like the 80s or 90s that allows people or that uh, was developing technology for computer interfaces uh, that would allow them to read the human mind, and, like decode the human brain and also send subliminal messages to the human brain. But uh, so this week, it's like I can tell that they won. They don't really want me to get outside. They don't really want me to go like mess with people or mingle with people, I should say. Um, and so they try to keep me busy. So this week, my my workload has been damn near more than it's ever been, right? Um, and I noticed yesterday, I got like an extreme amount of work. It was to the point. It was actually really funny, and I could tell that it was. That I, I've already said this in multiple videos. Like I can tell that you know my employers are a part of this, um, and they send me. Let's go this way, bud. And they send me. Um, well, here's an example. So yesterday they were sending me, like, every time I would complete a task, they would send me two more tasks. Right. So I come in. I already have like a whole laundry list of things to do, and every time I complete one task, they send me two more tasks. And this continued all day. I mean, like, time work. We're like, as soon as I would get one done and I'd submit it, then two more would come in. And typically, it's not like that. Like, some days, you know, it'll be kind of slow. Like, I'll get something done, and I might, like, have 20, 30 minutes between the next one, right? But this week, it's been this way. This way, it's, uh, come on. We got to go. But I'm talking about that. So this week, we've been just like super busy all of a sudden right and what's also funny to me is that while i was getting super busy and i'm, I'm working through all this just trying to keep up and maintain speed um my manager gets on right and we're gonna call my manager kyle okay so kyle logs on and kyle i've brought up before he likes to log on and just like leave his computer his mic unmuted and just make a bunch of noise in the background like uh, crumbling up water bottles or just just making noise like slamming on his desk or typing real loud on his keyboard uh, with his mic unmuted just you know just to make noise right so he logs on and I can tell that my tasks have been manipulated because some of them just have hella errors they're just they, they there's no way for me to complete them without interacting with my manager right so I go to uh he logs on Actually, I think about three or four times I kept asking for his help. I was like, hey, are you there? Hey, are you there? You know, and he never says anything, right? And so um, he logs on finally. He's like, oh, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. And I mean, he was already logged on, but he wasn't saying anything. So he started finally talking. And as he starts talking, I'm like, hey, you know, I got a few questions for you. He's like, oh, okay, okay, let's go ahead and knock him out. Now he knows. He knows my workload, like he knows how much work I have to do or whatever. So I'm trying to knock out what I need his help with and get right back to it. And he starts playing, man. So I'm, I'm asking him questions and he literally, it takes him damn near one hour to answer one question. Like this should have been a five minute conversation, you know? And he's, oh, uh, 
Yeah, uh, hold on, yeah. Uh, hold up. Uh, well, uh, let me try this. And then, and so he's playing or whatever. And then, like, we'll finally get something accomplished on it. And I'm like, okay, on to the next. He's like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go back to that one. Let's go back to that one. Uh, did you do this? Did you do that? And I'm like, yeah, you just told me to do all that. Like, I did all that. You know, that's done. And he's like, oh, okay, okay. Well, make sure that's right, man. So he just wants to go back over the same stuff and over and over again, right? And meanwhile, while I'm sitting here talking to him, trying to get back to my work, I'm still getting two, three, four more tasks sent to me. So all day, he's just setting me further and further back, right? And it got to the point I already knew. I was like, okay, like, this is just, you know, what they want to do is just, one, keep me here all day. Uh, two, you know, I got my second job. So I already knew at a certain point in the day, I was not going to finish all my workload before I had to like go to my second job. So I'm sitting there working, I'm sitting there working, uh, and they keep sending me stuff. And then they would just like randomly bust out with these loud conversations over the mic or whatever, as soon as I start getting work done. Well, at some point I noticed that I would get like, it's almost like, I, I don't know what they were doing to cause this, but I noticed that at certain points I would get uh, very uneasy and feel like almost anxious, right? Like rushed. And, but not in the normal sense. Like I felt fine, you know, cause I understood that I would get the workload done one way or another. Like I'll log in, you know, an extra hour or something and get it done. But um, it's just, that brings me back to the whole computer screen, the monitors thing. It just seems like somehow they can send like certain signals or uh, just frequencies to your brain, like while you're sitting there, to kind of try to change your emotional state. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just weird. So I feel like they pissed off about all the like stuff that I was doing over the weekend, going and talking to people and whatnot. So now they're just trying to uh, mess me up. And I, I get the feeling that another aspect of it is that they want me to quit my second job. And I say that because, so they tried to stress me out all day with my first job, right? And to the point where I think I logged out of my first job and had like 10 minutes to do, to get to my second job, right? And so uh, I just so happened to manage to get to my second job. And I, I, I'm taking phone calls. And these phone calls are all just like hysterical. They're They're all very fake manipulated these people even talking code to me to try to like make jokes and stuff because they know what's going on you know um and i i'm trying to i can't even think of like any specific experiences but it's just really funny some of the stuff that they do and so i have to sit there and deal with that or whatever and then like they make jokes i mean constantly bro every time it's like somebody will call and i'll be asking them you know yeah hey how can i help you no like, oh huh what'd you say Huh, what'd you say? And then as soon as I start to repeat myself, they start, they're like, oh, yeah, I'm good. Like, just talking over me, you know, just playing, just constantly, like, doing extra stuff. You know what I'm saying? So what I believe is happening um, is it's just kind of like reverse psychology. So they want to stress me out. And I've said this before, like, they want me to not be employed, right? Or at least not make as much money as I'm making. So they try to stress me out and they try to ruin what I got going on. Uh, I don't think that they can. Like, like obviously, like my manager, Kyle, <laughs> he can't actually, like, do anything to fire me, right? But if he can manipulate the situation to the point where I mess myself up, then I could get fired, right? Or if I'm frustrated enough, I could quit my job. Um, or, and the same with my second job, right? So if they can overwhelm me enough, then I'll quit either one or both of these jobs and put myself at a financial deficit. Um, and then I'm sure, like, if I were to quit one of my jobs, then as soon as I did, you know, they do something to cost me a bunch of money to make sure that I have no savings or anything. So it's just same shit, you know. Uh, yeah, that's it. Just an update. Just making notes. Catch you in the next one.